One of Australia's largest employers, Woolworths, has been accused of a form of wage theft, revealing today it has underpaid close to 6,000 workers. Australia has a wage theft crisis. All I can say is we unreservedly apologise to all of the team members impacted. This is not the standard where we will hold ourselves to. Supermarket giant Woolworths is the latest company to admit to systematically underpaying their staff, shortchanging managers by a whopping $300 million. I'm shocked. This is, the, uh, this is a huge underpayment. I listened with interest to the Australian Industry Group apologising on behalf of uh, our wage theft uh, maestros Woolworths this morning, uh, saying that um, it's all just so, so hard. I noticed that the uh, reporter said, but they can get their business systems right, why can't they get their wages right? Industrial advocate Miles Heffernan says there is no excuse for not paying workers their proper wages and entitlements. Why are they never over though? Why don't we hear about these overpayments of these big companies? Why is it always systemic underpayments? The, the issue is that they're cribbing at the margins, they haven't got the right systems, and they know that the worker is not going to be able to fight back because it's a pretty, pretty difficult system to chase your underpayments. There's no excuses in these situations. As Woolworths boss Brad Banducci was apologising to his staff, workers at Sydney's Rockpool restaurant which is owned by celebrity chef Neil Perry. Cooking We're hitting the streets cooking to protest cooking being ripped off. Stealing wages, cooking crops, Rockpool group are turning crops. Payslip says that I'm work, I work 38 hours, but the reality is I work 50 to 60 hours. Woolies and Rockpool join an ever-growing list of companies that have underpaid their workers, including Bunnings, Michael Hill Jewelers, Super Cheap Auto, 7-Eleven, Coffee Club, Subway, and disgraced MasterChef judge George Calambaras. We are asking the question, why? Why do so many companies keep getting it so badly wrong? Fair Work Ombudsman Sandra Parker, who was criticised for the token $200,000 penalty paid by George Calambaras, has not ruled out taking legal action against Woolworths which could result in court-ordered penalties in the millions of dollars. This is taxpayers' money that's paying for the Fair Work Ombudsman. We shouldn't have to hold the hands of companies as big as Woolworths. And unfortunately, that's what we're having to do. And we are saying to companies, get your act together. It's showtime. We're Woolworths, the fresh food people. If you don't understand the rules of play, don't hire staff.